Hey guys, welcome back to r slash I don't work here lady, where you can find stories about some real oblivious people. So let's begin. Karens of all types. Okay, so this one is going to be a little different than what most of you are used to. I work on the west coast running my own business as a cybersecurity consultant. I'm 35 and have been in this business a very long time. I have around 10 employees, however the one we just hired is a special case. Very special. She is one of the dumbest smart people I know, and her attitude says she graduated with honors from an Ivy League school, and that means she owns you. Since I'm the owner of the business, I leave most duties to my senior security engineers, so she has probably only seen me a few times in the three months she's worked for me. I was out shopping for supplies in the office, and I decided I was going to stop by my local Sam's Club for some lunch. I used to work there when I was in my early 20s, and I was friends with the now manager of the specific store while we were cashiers together. It's worth mentioning that since I was heading to the office after this, I was dressed in my formal business attire. I promise it comes into play later. The Sam's Club Cafe has some of the best food in my opinion for the price that they offer. I finish my food and have a chat with my manager friend. Manager friend leaves to do manager things, and I go to throw away my paper plate that was provided to me for my pizza, when I start hearing screaming coming from the cafe counter, which isn't even 10 feet away. I look over to see what is happening. Karen says, What do you mean you're out of frozen yogurt? Do you idiots ever keep anything stocked? This was a common thing to happen in the summertime, since everyone loves their frozen yogurt. Karen looks at me and rushes over. Manager, you are going to do something about this. I want that fired right this instant. He was rude and called me a bitch for asking for frozen yogurt. I don't work. She cut me off before I could continue, but it was when I started to realize she looked familiar. I don't care. You will fire this little brat right now or I'm contacting corporate over this. After that it clicked. She's my employee. And I say, I can't do anything for you because I don't work here. I thought about telling her, but I wanted to see where this goes. Karen jabs her finger into my chest as hard as she can and twists it. Listen, you R-word. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm league smarter than you. The only reason you work here is because you're a reject who couldn't finish college. I almost busted out laughing at that comment, but I composed myself. At this point, the actual manager, my friend, comes running over and asks what's wrong. Before I could explain, Karen steps in. He, pointing at me, assaulted me and verbally abused me while refusing to fire this employee the girl behind the cafe counter who at this point looked visibly horrified. And as his boss, you better fire him right this instant. If you don't, I'll have all of your jobs, you insignificant clowns. Yes, she really said that. She called us clowns. How ironic. I'm pretty much fed up now and I revealed my real identity. Karen, I'm insert name here. The owner of insert company name here. The consultancy you work for. We just hired you a couple months ago, right? I showed her my badge with title name and picture on it. Her face turned whiter than snow. And the manager says, I saw her, I saw her jabbing her finger into you. The cops were already on their way. I didn't think it was possible, but her face turned even whiter than it was before. She looked like she was about to hurl. Anyway, the cops show up, look at the security footage, and without even asking me anything, they handcuff her and take her away. They talk to me and ask me if I want to press charges, and I said yes, court date pending and later find out from my manager friend that she yanked the cafe girl by the collar, slapped her and pushed her back before I had seen her yelling. I asked the cops if I could have a word with her before they drove her away, since she's my employee. They said yes, and I walked up to her sitting in the cop car hands cuffed behind her back. She is about to speak but I held my finger up in front of her face. For someone who graduated with honors at insert Ivy League school here, you're pretty dumb. I was never impressed with your work. And now that you're here, I doubt you'll ever get a job in the security field again. Don't bother showing up for work anymore. I had to add that last part because I knew she'd be out on bail. Her husband is pretty wealthy too. Never thought I'd run into a Karen that actually worked for me. Restaurant team can't figure out their billing software. I set it up for them and print my own bill. Background story. This happened nearly a decade ago. I was working at a startup e-commerce venture. We were a small team and it was my job to put in the processes and train the staff. Every month I would work on one department and document the IT reporting and other processes they need to follow, train them and identify the person who could lead the team. 
It was my practice to invite the most promising employees and take them out for either drinks or a meal and get to know them better before coming to a decision. There were several restaurants and bars near our office, one of which I never patronized as it was too upscale. One day I noticed that one of the girls I was keen to promote as a team lead for the customer support team was about to have a meltdown at work. I quickly pulled her off the floor immediately and took her to this upscale place, both to let her feel that she was valued, as well as get a bit of privacy so I could understand all her issues. The incident. We had what could be called a high tea, and were ready to leave when one of the servers requested if we could wait for a few minutes before they bring the bill to us. I had a meeting with one of the directors, so I left my company card with this girl, asked her to settle the bill and rejoin her team after clearing the bill. My meeting went on for half an hour and when I went to get my card back, the girl had not returned to work. I feared that she might have tried to run away with the card or something, so I quickly rushed to the restaurant, only to find her still waiting for the mysterious bill. I lost my cool and threatened the manager that they could not keep a patron waiting and I was going to call the cops on them for not letting the girl leave while not presenting the bill at the same time. Until this time the staff was trying to avoid presenting the bill. Now they admitted. The software they ran had been upgraded that day and none of them could make it work. They were waiting for someone from the IT team to come and update them. In the meantime, they didn't think of putting the close sign because no customers came in at that time of day. It was amusing to say the least, and I didn't want the poor staff to pay out of their pockets for our meal. I don't know what came over me and I asked them to show me the system. I was used to setting up systems and in short order figured out where they were messing up and took the notepad the servers used to take orders and wrote step-by-step -step instructions for them and printed the bill for my own meal. Then I taught them to link the card machine to their system, printed my own bill and swiped my card. By this time the news that I was setting up the billing system for the restaurant had spread like wildfire in our office, as I had asked my colleague to go back to her station and she couldn't keep this juicy tale to herself. The fallout. When I was done, I saw the director of my company waiting for me. He was negotiating with the restaurant chain for hiring out my services to them. I was only thankful no one got fired in this whole fiasco. No really, school is completely closed. For context, this takes place around the beginning of the pandemic. I am on the janitorial team that was sanitizing our public school buildings during the cancellations last week. Monday I arrived for my first day and I was tackling an auditorium. It was no secret that schools were closed. It was on the news. There were signs on the doors. I think the city even sent a text alert about it to anyone signed up for municipal notifications. And the school absolutely sent emails. But as I'm beginning to clean, with my car and my janitorial uniform, a woman comes in with two kids, five and seven-ish. I say, hi, I'm sorry, the school is closed for the rest of the... And she cuts me off and says, yeah, yeah, I know, I know but this is the daycare service, right? No, what? No, I'm just a member of the cleaning crew. Well, where's the daycare? There, what? I don't think there is one. We're sanitizing every room today. You could go to the office and ask, but I didn't see anyone in there. It's really just us. Oh great, so you're in charge. I'll be back at 2.15, right? I'm not in charge of anything. You'll need to go to the office, or probably go home actually. I don't think there's any kind of service. She interrupts. What are you talking about? They wouldn't just cancel school without a daycare service for working parents. Where's your boss? My boss is also a janitor. Trust me, they cannot help you. Now at this point, the kids had begun to run around the gym, which meant I'd have to re-sanitize whatever they'd touched. So I said more firmly, you need to go. I'm not supposed to let people in here during cleaning. At this point, I wasn't sure if she was messing with me or if she really didn't know. She seemed busy. She had a cell phone in one hand and no hands on the kids. Without looking up, she says, Well, you should have cleaned before the kids started to arrive, shouldn't you? I'm starting to wonder if I'm the crazy one at this point. There are no kids arriving. I'm cleaning. The school is closed. I know school is closed. That's why I'm leaving them in the daycare. And just like that, she was off. I was calling after her. Hey, excuse me. Lady, you cannot leave the kids in here. I didn't know what to do about it, so I took the kids to my boss and asked what we needed to do. The boss said, So they just left these kids here? Why didn't you tell her the school was closed? Who doesn't know that by now? 
I explained that I did tell her, and she either was so checked out she didn't understand, or she chose to ignore me. So the boss said, This is all way too risky. We can't keep an eye on them and their dangerous products, and who knows why she left them here. We don't need this problem. Better call whoever you call about kids with no one to watch them. Cops? We also had one of the janitors trying to get a name and number off the kids, but they didn't really know. But we have a few undocumented immigrants on the crew, and a couple others who would have just been nervous to have cops buzzing around the workplace. So we googled it, and ended up calling a child services hotline. Ultimately, a social worker came, and with cops, but they didn't bother anyone though, just focused on the kids. The cops went through the kids' bags, and found their last name on a school binder and found a number to call. They got the kid's father, who was irate. They had the conversation on speakerphone, so I caught bits and pieces. What do you mean? They're where? Aren't schools closed? And he was there within 10 minutes. I guess he called his wife for an explanation during that time, because she arrived not too soon afterwards. The cops and social worker were lecturing them, and the woman was like, I left them with the childcare worker in the drop-off area. And they reiterated there was no daycare, and they had no idea what she was talking about. So at that point I thought, okay, I guess she's just really, really dumb. So the cops let them go with a warning about understanding where they're leaving their kids, and with whom. But as they were leaving, the woman sneered at my boss. Was it really such a big deal that you had to call the police? So now I wonder whether she was trying to pull a fast one on us, or if she really was just that stupid. The world may never know, but I still laugh at the story. That's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more. Take care everyone, I'll see you next time.